going on everybody it's your boy mike rich man what's happening with y'all today i hope everybody each and every one of y'all is having a blessed day today man i hope everybody having a good one look at my hat bro it did then when it could be cold right here man it's a falcon hat yes it is i'm still a falcon fan regardless of what but it then when it be cold outside so i'm at work today man want to talk about some of these releases that are coming out because some of this stuff is track can water 2021 i've been giving y'all props nike jordan brand i've been giving y'all props for 2021 bringing out some heat i've been on the last couple of uh release videos i've been giving y'all a lot of props saying hey man some heat dropping i'm right i'm liking what's happening i'm digging it some fire jordan ones coming out you feel me you bring it car mines out you know what i'm saying trophy rooms and whatnot which is going to be like an impossible release i see people getting that shoe early trophy rooms trophy room ones already y'all got them I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm in the wrong part of the game, man. I'm in the wrong part of the game, man. But anyway, man, let's talk about some of these releases. So first up, let me see. Let's see. Let's see. A lot of y'all probably saw this shoe already, but I ain't talked about it yet, man. What these is, man. I just actually, I thought this was a men's release. This is actually a women's release. I just found out. But I'm glad because I, I ain't want them no way. Look, but these, bye. They could have went black on this whole shoe. Instead of using this colorway, they could have went with a completely black upper instead of this mesh looking textured. I don't even know what we call this material. What is it? It's like it's like something you would get rug burned from. I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's a really like rough textured material, like weaved material a little bit. I don't know what you call it, man. But I call it uh, track can water. I call it sewage drain juice. I call it get it the hell out my face. I'm not copying these fours. That starfish is what they calling them. I guess that because starfish is the original color they they use as a shot of bad boys. So I guess you use starfish for anything. They're gonna be like, oh, just like them starfish 13s. Like no, no. You can throw them in the ocean like a starfish. You can do that with these guy. But to me, they try. I don't want them. I, I don't want them in my house. I don't want them in my sight. I don't want to review them. Nothing. Jordan brand of Nike. Keep these thing, man. You feel me? Anyway, and these shoes actually, I just, the official images got released today. It's my first time seeing them. And that's these right here. The Rust Pink 3s. Women's exclusive. Another women's exclusive. AKA, some people say Ellie, Ellie May. I don't know if these are shoes or not. Some people were saying that. But um, they they fine. They dope. Um, they be dope for my wife. My wife don't like threes, but they, they'll be dope for her. But um, it's not a bad shoe. It's not terrible. It's not a great shoe. I don't love it. It's just all right. You know what I'm saying? It's a pink three. It got some little hits of like what seems to be kind of like an infrared or a crimson color going on with them. And it looks like it's some pretty decent materials. I love the elephant print. All that looks dope on the shoe. Uh, even if they come in extended sizes, your boy Rich ain't finna. I, I'm not finna go for these. I ain't finna try to cop. But y'all come below and tell me what y'all think of these, man. Like these right here, they're going to sell out, of course. I mean, just because every joint sell out now. But what y'all think of this colorway? I think it's, I think it's pretty clean. Um, other than that, like I said, I wouldn't buy them. But I think it's a pretty clean shoe. It's not trash can water. It's not trash can water. It's 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 it's, it's delicacy. You know, what I'm saying? it looks like strawberry shortcake. That's what I think of when I see it. I think of it. I think of some strawberry shortcake eye cream. You feel me? But uh, yeah, man. So another shoe that uh the images came out recently is these. They call them Super Bowl twelves. They kind of look like they got a, like a uh, Chinese New Year theme or something like that. But the box has this same like confetti pattern that's on the inside. And they look like low top flu game 12s. Um, uh, <laughs> Y'all gonna kill me for this one, man. Because I know I read the comments of everybody uh, saying about this shoe, talking about they trash, why they making these. I should like them, man. I, I mean, it's it's I'm shameful. It's a guilty pleasure, I guess. But I should like this shoe, man. I just imagining it on feet. Jordan 12 look kind of clean on feet in certain sizes. When you get too big, eh, I don't know. But um, I like the flu game colorway. It's dope. And then the inside with the confetti, it ain't it ain't that bad to me, man. It looked like something that would have been a championship shoe. Cause anything back in the day with Jordans and championship had like some kind of confetti theme. But I don't mind these as much. I'm not saying I'm a cop them, but um, I heard a couple people said like the, the the material look like it might be some of that pillow away material. I don't I don't think they're doing that with these. I just think that's just the material they chose to use on these. But um, 
Hey man, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I don't mind these too much. They got the gold hits. A lot of people saying like 49ers colorway or whatever. And some people saying Tampa Bay colorway. I don't know why they calling them Super Bowl. I guess because the confetti. I don't know what a Jordan 12 got to do with the Super Bowl. I seen a couple of comments of people saying, every time they bring out a shoe that's similar to another sneaker, people be always be like, uh, let's just get the or this shoe already. Like I heard see a couple of comments. Just give us shoe, just give us flu games. Man, just stop playing and give us flu games already. I'm like, didn't flu games come out in 2016? Five years? I mean, like, releasing a shoe every five years, man. I, I, I think Jordan brand, and I know a lot, it's probably going to hurt a lot of people's feelings that want these shoes that, that's coming up or want some of these shoes to come back out or re-release. -re I think 10 years, man. I think releasing the retro every 10 years to keep it fresh. A lot of times they they do, they do it in five years, four years. Uh, this year, 2021, for the for the car mines, what it makes seven years. It came out in 2014, so that made what seven years. So you know that's a nice little round time, but f five years is way too soon to release a shoot, in my humble opinion. Anyway, but um, I like these for what they are, man. You can put them on with some fits, keep them clean, and I know I'm gonna get killed in the comments for liking this shoe, but I sleep like this shoe. It's not trash can water to me. It's not trash can water to the kids. You feel me? I like them. Now, I am going to need every single one of you to keep the same level of intensity, dismay, malcontent for this sneaker. In other words, keep that same energy about these things right here. Light Fusion Red things, AKA Sherbert Guys, AKA Pink Lemonade things. I like this shoe. Every comment on every Picture, chat, Instagram post, Twitter post about this sneaker. People are trashing them, saying they garbage, saying throw them away. Let's see if y'all keep that same motivation. Let's see if y'all do it because I guarantee they still gonna sell out, number one. Number two, I'm copying because that letter, that leather, that letter, leather looks oh so. Buttery. It just looks buttery, man. These right here, the man, the, the, the leather, the leather on these look crazy. I wish they was use, would use this level for every shoe. The leather, I keep saying level, leather, leather looks great on this sneaker, man. And plus, I'm not really mad at the colorway. I think it looked real pinkish on the pictures, but I think in hand it will look more reddish. On certain pictures, it look more reddish. And it give me uh, Atlanta Hawks vibes too. That's another reason I like this shoe. So, like I said, these ain't trash can water to me. What can I say? I think they fire, you feel me? Um, but anyway, uh, that, we gonna talk about a couple more shoes. I'm about to get out work in a minute. So, let's see if I can hit up a little spot or something, see if they got anything interesting, interesting to check out, man. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, man. So now, I'm off work, man. So, um, I'm off work. I am off work. I'm out of here. Woo! So since the last time we talked, like I said, I want to go stop at one of your little sneaker stores or something like that, see if they got anything different in there. But since the last time we talked, we didn't ha have official pictures of Raging Bull 5. So that did release recently, and they look like this. So they look exactly, except for the bottoms. I think the bottoms weren't that blue tinted icy. They weren't using that for nothing back then, but they're using it now um, for the fives. And um, they cleansed. They are cleansed. This. This is one of the main reasons why I didn't get what the fives because I was like the favorite. I mean, coming up, my favorite part of this shoe is the which is the Raging Bull fives. Gotta have them. When they released in the pack all those years ago, they actually sat like they were, I think the pack was three hundred dollars or three hundred and fifty dollars, and then nobody cop like that. I mean, some people did, but now they like grails for everybody. I liked them back then, but believe it or not, three hundred and fifty dollars for two pair of Jordans was like a lot of money back then you know what i'm saying now you get a two pack it's gonna be five hundred dollars and they do have this interesting box look like some hardwood flooring going on some hardwood classic action i love the fact one thing i can't say about jordan brand what they're doing this year is they switching it up with the box they're giving us um different boxes with almost every shoe and it goes with the theme of the shoe they did it a little bit last year but they it looked like they're gonna be doing that with almost every jordan this year and i think that's dope it's just cardboard put a design on it makes so make it a little bit more special for people who want to spend 200 dollars. i think these gonna be 200 dollars, maybe 220 but um i think the raging bulls is, is like it's gonna be on the top 10 already i'm already putting it in the top 10 for 2021 i sold my all sway red jordan uh fives 
like uh, last year or something, year before last or something like that. I, I told that shoe like two years ago because I knew eventually they were gonna bring these raging bulls and you gotta have, you gotta have what you really want. They keep bringing out all these constellation prizes. Raging bull fights, gotta have them. Speaking of um um shoes that we got uh, official looks at, here we got the, um, like it's not a technically official look, but this is the first look of the Air Jordan 7 Flint. I talked about this shoe in the video before. Love this shoe, great colorway. Y'all know Jordan 7 is my favorite silhouette of Air Jordans. But this shoe, it's not like the OG. I'ma still cop it. I still think it's dope, dope colorway, and it represents the original Flint Jordan 7, but the shape is different. And it's the same shape we've been getting on 7s for like the last, I don't know how many years, so the shape has been like this for years, but they that 2006, 2007 shape, they need to go back to that. It looked more like the original. Um, it looks a lot more minimalized, too. This one look a little bit more bulky. That old shape was, like I said, I got two pair of sneakers. I got chambray and citrus sevens with that old shape, and it looks a whole lot better on uh, sevens, just make it look a lot less big. You know what I'm saying? So, and then the gray on this look, I don't know if it's because of the camera, the tint, I don't know what it is, but the gray looks way darker on this shoe than the original. So, there's that. So, anyway, I want to talk about those couple of shoes uh open uh as far as new looks coming out. We ain't got official looks, so maybe it might look a little bit better than these. I don't know. Um, but anyway, let's get to the store, man, and see what's happening. Do it. Look. Over the horizon, there she blows, there she blows, City Gear, Decatur, Georgia, on the east side of Atlanta. City Gear, man. I haven't been to this City Gear in a while, man, so I just want to go in here and just, I just want to hold some shoes in my hand, just look at some shoes. We done talked about shoes, now it's time to look at some shoes. It's probably going to be trash can liquid going on in this place but we finna find out a lot of times these little hood little uh city gears and stuff like that a lot of times they have a little different stuff that ain't sold out yet i just want to see if i can find anything and after that we're gonna close the video out so with no further ado let's see what's happening in the hood city gear do it sir yes sir see if they got anything in here of note so they got a plethora of Air Max 3s in here, AKA Air Max 90 OG guys. These shoes kept selling out at first, but now they are available in almost every spot I go to, so get you some. But what these is right here, Shardy? I ain't never seen them before, what the hell? These some of them Zoom guys, okay, okay, okay. I like the colors, but I don't know about that. The Zoom collar just be looking kind of crazy to me. I'm just, I'm not a fan of the tongue. I'm not a fan of the color. But the colorway is, is not bad. It got some real Atlanta Hawks vibes going on with these. Y'all come below and tell me what y'all think about these, man. What y'all think about the Zooms in general, the Zoom Air joints? I'm not a big fan. They just give me the classic leather Jordan um, ones. Yeah, I'm good on these, but y'all come below. Like I said, it ain't too much in here. Slick, slim pickings, McGlickens. Got these uh, these uh, Air Max ones right there. They doing some different things. I like the color the color scheme on them. What y'all think about phones? Y'all still rocking phones? Is anybody still rocking and buying phone posits? Let me know. When in doubt, just make the swoosh bigger. Yeah. Got a bunch of them greedy boys too. Them greedy boys. Oh, okay then. Got these Bo Jackson with a lot of colors going on. Real emerald looking. I like the materials on these right here. I like the color and the materials. I just don't like the little jewel swoosh. Give me a regular swoosh, man. Ah, well, that was a waste of time. Damn, nothing in that guy. <laughs> Actually, I was thinking that I would probably see them Griffies, man. I know they ref they just retro them Griffies. I don't know. A lot of places don't have them yet. Because uh, it's not the official release date, but most places like City Gear and Detail Lot, they'll get them in early and go ahead and put them on the shelf. So I was expecting to see them Griffies, but I guess we ain't gonna see them guy today. Um, I won't be copping them though, but I just want to see them in hand, man. I like when they retro old uh, 90s uh, sneakers, and I want to check them out. What the hell he doing back though? And you pick on up cigarette butts. Anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching, man. Y'all comment below and tell what y'all thought of this vid, man. What'd you think of some of these upcoming sneakers in this video? He's still back though. 
Get out of here, man. Sketch. Anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them and keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Go Rich.